Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. Today we have a nice home workout you can just follow along with. We have 15 different exercises. Repetition ranges between 10 and 50 repetitions. I assume this is going to take about 20 minutes or so with the breaks done in between. There's going to be two varieties you can do. The little more advanced version is going to see on the preview, which is going to be right over my head. And then the simpler version I'll show right before each exercise. Follow along with me. Do as many repetitions as you can. Remember, try to hit Keep the best form that you can so you don't get injured. And that's pretty much it. Nice and easy. We're starting off with 50 jumping jacks. So the beginner jumping jack is going to be doing this. And the more advanced jumping jack is just a regular jumping jack. Pick whichever one you want. Switch halfway through if you get too tired. Do whatever kind of goes with you and your flow. So you guys ready to go? We're going with 50 jumping jacks. I'm going to do the best that I can to count all the way through. Ready? In three, two, one, and let's go. One. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Keep on going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Twenty more. We got this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten more. Come on, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One exercise down, 14 left. There's a big board right in front of me. I hope I don't skip any. Um, we'll see how it goes. So, 15 jumping jacks done. Now we're going to 50 body weight squats. This being fit after 50. Sometimes my knees are more cooperative than other days. Sometimes I can squat more or deeper, I should say, than other days. We're doing 50 body weight squats. So there's really no beginner version of this. Beginner version maybe if you want to hold on to something or just go halfway down. Go halfway down as deep as you can. These are, you know, self-sustaining. You can kind of stop whenever you want to or you can go, like I said, as you warm up, you might be get, find that you can go deeper. And then as you get tired, maybe you can't go as deep anymore. Pace yourself, all right? So we're going for 50 body weight squats. Ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. One. This is as far as I can go down in the beginning at least. And then you'll see as we progress, I might be able to go deeper and deeper. Right now, this is it as I warm up. Nine and ten. Keep going. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 20 in. I'm noticing I can go a little bit deeper. So just continue doing what you're doing. Like I said, I'm warming up with you. I always say my workouts are your workouts. We're halfway done. So I'm just working out with you guys. That's the beauty here. We're doing it together. And that's 30. We have 20 squats left. Ready? One, two. If that's too many for you, take a break right now. Wait for the next exercise. 35. We got 15 left. One, two, three, four, five. Try to keep the back as upright as it can get. 10 left. Keep it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. One and two. And shake those legs out just a little bit. So two exercises down, 13 left. All right. Now we have 20 push ups. So you can do a push-up, beginner, stand next to a wall, do a push-up right here. Also, you can get down on the ground, stay on your knees, get nice posture, and then don't flare out your elbows too much, and go down and up, and then you also have a regular push-up the way you're seeing a preview right now. So 20 push-ups, you can do 10 regular ones, drop down to your knees for 10, Perfectly fine. 
I'm gonna try to do 20 regular ones. If it doesn't work out for me, I'll drop down to my knees. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep going. Halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more. One, two, and three. All right, exercise number three done. If you're on the ground, stay down on the ground. If you're doing standing up push-ups, I'll give you a little bit of time to get onto the ground. And we're going for Russian twists. One of my favorite core exercises. If you guys have been here for a while, you know I like this exercise. So once again, two varieties. First, the beginner variety, you leave your legs on the ground and you just twist back and forth, back and forth. The more advanced move, you'll see it again, once again, the preview, legs come up in the air. Again, we're going for 50. If you wanna do them half and half, Perfectly fine, whatever works for you. Try to get as close as to 50 as you can. Don't forget to push, you can push yourself a little bit if you get a little bit tired, that's okay. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, keep it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. If your legs are down here, that's perfectly fine. Keep going, keep twisted. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to challenge yourself, bring them up. One, two, three, four, five. Keep it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 20, uh, 20, it's 40. We have eight left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, and one. And catch your breath, all right. And now we're standing up. We're going for skaters. So this being a fairly small room, I can't jump that far from side to side, but if you're not jumping at all, it works out perfectly. So stand on one side, you're just gonna step over to the other side and lean down as far as you can. Step to this side and lean down as far as you can. Just pretend you're skating and lean down. That's the beginner version, a little more advanced version. We're gonna hop from side to side, all right? If we're going for, the board says 50 skaters. This is exercise number five. So after this exercise, we'll be third of the way done, at least as far as number of exercises is concerned with this workout. So you guys ready to go? Three, two, one, let's go. One, and just do this. Two, if you can hop. Three, going for 50. Four, and squat down just a little bit. Five, it's just like a skating motion. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Beginner version, just stepping back and forth. One, two, three, four, and five. Or you can hop, one, two, three. A little squat, two, three. That's 20 down, one, two. Going for 50, three, four. Good job, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20 left, keep it up guys, one. Little cardio and a little bit of strength. <sighs> 10 left, ready, let's go. Last 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, one, and back to where we started, and two, whoo. Oh yeah, heart rate is rushing pretty good. Feeling good, feeling good. 
Take a little water, if you got some water, catch your breath just a little bit. All right, exercise number six coming up. We have jump squats. If you wanna do a regular squat, we already done those, just do 20 more. If you don't wanna jump, I just want you to come up fast from your squat position onto your toes. So it's happening that you go down and just come up onto your toes. That's why I want you to come up, down, as far as, if you only go down this far, perfectly fine, and come up quickly, all right? Don't jump if you don't feel like it's safe. Just come up quickly and almost get off the ground, but not quite. All right, we got 20, I might do 10 and 10. Once again, feel free to mix and match. So 20 jump squats, not just back and forth, I want you to jump, come back, catch your breath, jump, come back, catch your breath, all right? So here we go, 20 jump squats, ready? In three, two, one, down, and up. See, that's just one. Just a little hop, and two, and three. Explode up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a little explosion. Halfway done, keep it up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, and 10. Here we go. Exercise number six in the bag. Starting exercise number seven. On the ground, we're going for scissor kicks. So two varieties. The easier version, you keep your feet, the foot that's not being kicked, or the leg, I should say, stays on the ground. So take your hands, put them underneath your butt, protect your lower back, and then squeeze your lower back into the ground during this entire exercise. So leave your head and your shoulders up the ground a little bit. Beginner version is gonna go one, two, three, four. Advanced version, we're gonna do a little bit right now. Basically, your feet stay in the air, ready? We're going for, how many did I say? 50. Ready, in three, two, one, legs up, and let's go. One, two, three, four. Lower back squeezing to the ground all the time. Fight that lower back from coming up. Do not arch it. That's 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, keep it up, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, keep it up, one, two, we're almost halfway done. Now we are, 25 left, 24 now, 23, two, one, and 20 left, keep going, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we're into single digits. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, and down and then put your legs down, take your hands out, and we are done with this one. Now, get up. I know part of the exercise is getting up and getting down, right? Catch your breath once again, and we're going for, pardon this, 50 high knees. Um, this is gonna be somewhat difficult to count. I'm gonna do the best that I can. We might get 45, we might get 55, who knows? So 50 high knees, so you're just gonna, one, beginner version, sorry, beginner version, just gonna go, we're gonna walk in place. Two, three, four, five, six. Advanced version, we're gonna try to run in place with high knees coming up as high as they can. So once again, 50 high knees. You guys ready to go? Give ourselves five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. Four, five, one, two, three, four, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Keep it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. 20 left. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. I think it was 50. Close enough. All right. That was exercise number eight, meaning we are more than halfway done with our workout. My heart rate is rushing. I'm having a hard time speaking. Don't mind me so much, but we're getting down the ground for diamond push-ups. If you guys don't know what they are, you put your hands together like this and you do a push-up. These are difficult. You can do them on a wall and up. You can do them on your knees. Once again, hands together on your knees and up. Or you can do a regular push-up. I'm gonna to attempt to do 10 regular push-ups. We'll see how well it goes. Your hands on diamond like this, it works your tricep a little bit more than the regular push-up. All right, 10 repetitions, that's all. So we're almost done before we even started. Diamond push-up, good posture. Let's go for 10, ready? Three, two, one, down, up, down, up, up. And sliding together. Halfway done. Ready? One, two, three, four. Last one. And squeeze it up and five. Whew. That was exercise number nine. All right, we're back up, back up to our feet. Well, again, like I said, up and down becomes somewhat of a workout in itself. Now we got 40, 40 forward lunges. Go down as deep as you can on the lunge. As a beginner, you just wanna take a step forward, lean forward a little bit, bend the knee just a little bit, forward, just a little bit, forward and back, all right? As you get more advanced, that knee get, bend gets more and more until you basically have it at 90 degrees and the other leg, the other knee almost touches the ground as you step forward. So we're going for 40 repetitions. So 20 on each side, easy peasy. You guys ready to go in five, four, three, come on, two, one, let's go. Forward one and back, and that's one. We're just doing it for 40, we got this. So if you stay nice and upright, you work the quads a lot more. If you lean forward like this, you work the hamstrings a lot more. And that's 10, keep it up. Twenty, halfway done. Just ten more steps with each leg, that's it. Ten left, ready? Last ten. I'm sure I miscounted along the way somewhere. Probably close enough. Last one on this leg, and then last one on the opposite leg. Boom, done with those. So we have 40, 40 forward lunges. Now, as I always say, part of the workout, we're getting back onto the ground for tricep extensions. If you're a beginner, you can just do this. Down as far as you can and then back up and lock it out, down and up. More advanced, we'll get their butts up in the air and do that, all right? Either way it works, we are doing 20 
floor extensions. Ready? In three, two, one. Up if you can, and then down. One, two, three, four, one, two. Keep it up. Three, four. It'll burn, trust me. That's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, four more. One, two, three, and last one, and four, and lock it out. Eh, so I say it's a little bit of a burn, a little bit of a burn. All right. Hey, guess what? We get to stay on the ground, and we're going for a little bit of core. So we're going hand to toe movement. Opposite hand, opposite foot. So this is the exercise. If you're a beginner, you don't have to extend your arm all the way to your foot. Just lift your leg up, one, and then two. Laying down on the ground, very similar to the scissor kick. Otherwise, we could try to reach for those feet. Ready? We are going for, what did I say? Hand to toe. 30 repetitions, so 15 per side. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. That's five. That's 10. Reach for that toe. Good pace. We have 10 left. Give me four more. And four. And relax and let me look at the board and see what we're doing because are we staying on the ground? No, we're getting back up. All right, I know this is a little leg intensive today, but it's important to keep strong legs. That's the base for everything else, right? So we're going for 10 squats, but these are slow 10 squats. So you're gonna go down as far as you can and you're gonna hold it for a second or two. And then you're gonna come up nice and slow. So slow motion squats. I can slow this video down right now and that's what we're gonna be doing, all right? So getting your favorite squat position. It may, be, it may be close, it may be far. Point your toes out just a little bit. And we're gonna go down nice and slow. And then we're gonna come, stay there for a second or two. And then we're gonna come up nice and slow. Once again, if you're a beginner, you go down as far as you can, as fast as you can, then you hold it. Just hold the squat position and then come back up, all right? Just don't go as deep. I'm gonna to try to go as deep as I can without anything hurting, that's always the key. Ready? In three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it, one, two, three, four, five. That's one, and then we're going back down. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it, one, two, three. That's it, that's all there is to it, four, five, and, and back down for three. Hold it, one, two, three, four. Hopefully by now your knees are warmed up. Five, one, two, three, four, five, that's four. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. Nice and quiet. Hold. That's six. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four. That's seven. Three more. Ready? One. And 
come up. Let it burn. Two more. Come up. And last one. Hold it, hold it, stay with me, hold it, and come up. Whew. All right, 10 slow squats, two exercises left. More lunging. All right, we did forward lunge. We did squats. Now we're going to do backward lunge. I guess how many repetitions? 40, 20 per leg. I'm going to do the best I can as always to count. So as I call, it's going to be close enough for government work, probably somewhere between 37 and 44 or 43. Ready? Backward lunges. Once again, beginners, just step back and step forward. Step back and step forward. Back and forward. That's all you got to do. I actually don't want you to lunge if you can't. Last thing we want to do is get hurt. Watching some guy on YouTube. Ready? Or for any other reason, especially this. Three, two, one, and back and up, back, up, three, up, looking good, feeling good, four, we're 10% down, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're 25% down, keep it up, 11, 12, come on guys, 13, I don't care what you do with your arms, 14, this is too easy for you, you can definitely grab some dumbbells, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, keep moving, 1, 2, Three, four, five, one, two, good pace, not a race, three, four, five, we've got ten left, I believe, let's go, one, we got this, two, one, and four. One, we got five left, five lunges left and we're done. Then just one exercise after this. Two more, one on each leg, one, and then opposite leg, and two. Whew, we're almost made it down to the ground. Well, we have two exercises left because we have to get down on the ground. So, on the ground. We're doing candlestick as much as, as best as we can without holding onto anything. Everybody's favorite core exercise. So if you cannot do the candlestick and get your legs all the way up in the air, you just give me a reverse crunch. You just do this. All right. This is a little too easy. Straighten the legs a little more and do that. That's too easy. Straighten them even more and do that. But just do this. 20 repetitions. That's all it is. Last exercise, candlestick. Microphone is going to be in my beard. So the sound is going to be crap. So I'm just not going to talk. Ready? I'll just count down 5, 10, 15, and 20. Support your lower backs. Make sure you're not hitting a wall. And let's go for 20 repetitions. In 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1. 5. Halfway. Keep it up. Last exercise. Remember, good effort. Five more. One, two, last one. And that's it. 
and we're back. The video did cut out on the last repetition. That means this workout was about 30 minutes long. Anyway, thank you for joining me today for that to 50. My name is Paul. Workouts do come out every Monday and every Thursday. They're mostly beginner workouts, a little bit of an intermediate level, and you can always scale them down or up just like we did in this workout. Once again, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you guys during the next workout.